Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to take a boring worksheet and make it look better. So I'm going to be covering how to insert and delete rows and columns and how to just dress up the appearance of your worksheet in general. So to start with here I have a first quarter produce worksheet and everything just looks pretty bland. Uh, you'll notice that my numbers are not formatted as uh, currency which they really should be. My percentages don't look like percentages and pretty much other than that it's just pretty darn boring. So I'm going to start by adding some number formatting. I'm going to go ahead and take all the numbers that are not percentages and I'm going to format them as currency and of course I select the cells I want to change to do that. Then I can go ahead and very easily if I'm on the home tab go ahead and choose the accounting format that puts commas in there. It also adds decimal places. Now in this case notice that I've got everything ending in point zero zero. I really don't need the cents in this case so also right next close to the currency formatting Tool, you see the increased decimal which will give you more decimal places or the decrease decimal. I want to decrease the decimals by two so I'll just click that twice. And so now that looks a whole lot better. Now accounting format versus currency format the only real difference is in currency formatting the dollar sign is right next to the number and in an accounting format it's left aligned at the edge of the cell which is, is fine for what I'm wanting in this case. The next thing I'm going to do is change the percentages. Well I'll go ahead and select those and of course right next to the accounting format tool there is a percent style. I'll go ahead and click that. Now this time it defaulted to no decimal places. I want two decimal places so I'm going to increase it by two. And so now I have 15.48 percent for apples. Now let's assume in this case that I actually forgot about a, a produce that I'm wanting to sell. So let's assume that I need another berry here. I need strawberries between blueberries and pears. So I want to move pears down. Now before I do that I'm going to check my formulas to make sure that my formula will include the new berry when I add the row which in this case it will. I'm summing up B4 through B8 which means essentially, essentially apples through oranges. As long as I insert it in that range my formula will adjust and I'll just show you that. Notice in this case that it does include the blank row. Alright so we'll go ahead and type in strawberries here and I'll just add a hundred dollars all the way across and I'll use my fill handle just to make that very easy the skinny black plus there and I'm going to go ahead and copy the total and the percent of total uh, select those cells and use the fill handle for that as well. Alright super easy to do so I've added some currency formatting that looks a little better. The next thing I'd like to do is I would like to make the month names and also the other titles here centered within the cell. So I'm going to select those and I'll just click the center tool and while I'm at it let's go ahead and bold face them. All this is available on the home tab and let's increase the size. I'm going to increase the size to 12 font, 12 point font. Okay. Now I'd like to add a line at the top of the total row. So I've selected the cells that I want to add a top border to and then I'll go to my border tool which is right here above font. I'll click the border and I'll go ahead and click top border. Now you can't see it when your cells are selected but if you move out of the way you can see that you have a border or at least I have a border. Alright um, I could add additional borders if I want but if I want to actually make that border a little bit thicker which I really would I'm going to go ahead and choose that tool and I'm going to choose more borders and now I can actually choose a different style of border here. So I click a different style of border, click up here on the top where I want it and uh, this is a very easy way to also add borders to uh, the top, the bottom, the left, the right or of these selected cells. So I'll click OK and now I have a little thicker border. Well I'd also like to add some shading. So I'll go ahead and select these cells as well and I have the shading tool which is right there next to the border tool. I'll choose the fill color and I'm going to go ahead and choose oh just maybe a light blue in this case. Alright so it's looking better already. 
just some very simple easy things to do uh, to enhance this worksheet. The next thing I'd like to do is I would like to have the title first quarter produce sales centered but not centered in, in one cell I'd like it centered across several cells so to do that I will select all the cells that I want it centered across and again still on this home uh, tab there is a merge and center tool that merges all those cells into one cell and it centers the text that was in that particular cell. So that cell actually is A1. Uh, A1 is now a very large cell. Well, let's go ahead and italicize the produce names. And the last thing I'd like to do here is I would like to rotate the text a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the alignment area and I have a little tool here that is the orientation and I can just go ahead and choose angle counterclockwise or clockwise. I can go ahead and go into the format cell alignment and uh, actually choose how much I want it to angle by Then I'll go ahead and choose all about there. All right and I go ahead and click OK and now I have rotated the alignment of the text. Well, let's also make the title a little bit bigger because it doesn't fit the rest. And let's change the color to red. All right, there you see. Very, very easy to format uh, cells and worksheets and insert rows. If I wanted to delete the strawberries, I no longer wanted them. I can just, as I did to insert a row, I can right click and choose delete. And now strawberries are gone. All right, as with all of my videos, you can find step-by-step -step instructions on my website, luthermaddy.com. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this short little video on how to enhance your worksheets. And uh, if you have questions, reach out to me. I, I do respond to comments. Uh, you can send me an email on the website, or you can actually uh, put a question in the comment. So if you like the video, please like it and consider subscribing as well. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.